So I'm Chaplain uh, James Murray. I um, have been a chaplain for a number of years and uh, looking forward to kind of sharing with you kind of my experience in my life. Uh, I am married. Uh, my wife and I have been married uh, 14 years and we have uh, five children. We're just really excited to serve the Lord and to serve soldiers uh, as a chaplain um, in the United States Army. So I joined the military right out of high school. I actually joined March of 2001 while I was still in my senior year. Um, I had felt the call to ministry towards youth ministry uh, when I was uh, early high school and uh, wanted to look into Bible colleges and, and wasn't able to afford the Bible college with some of the scholarships I was offered. And so I looked towards the military um, as a way of helping and supporting that. Um, and initially, when I found out that there was a... Um, it was called a chaplain assistant at the time, um, and the opportunity to do ministry or the opportunity to support ministry as well as being in the military, which I had always loved. My dad was in the military, have a history of uh, military, and uh, when that opportunity came up to do both, uh, I felt like the Lord had opened up uh, a great chance to serve uh, my country and to serve my Lord. And so, uh, joined the military uh, before I even graduated high school, uh, before even September 11th, uh, I was on. Uh, the way to basic training for January uh, 2002 and so the two towers fell and uh, my wife and I talked, we were dating at the time, talked and just really felt like the Lord still had called us to the military, um, just how he had worked things and how we had trusted him um, and so joined uh, enlisted ranks for a few years, uh, served in the reserves in a signal unit at Fort Gordon and really got a chance to do not only um, the enlisted side, but while I was in Bible college uh, here in Columbia, uh, I was learning a lot of ministry aspects and got a chance to do that kind of on the off hours. Uh, encouragement and uh, support and providing opportunities to uh, get soldiers the help that they needed. Um, and I saw the, the opportunity that a chaplain would have uh, in ministry and, and connection. Um, and support. And so uh, in 2006, I started to uh, pursue the chaplaincy when I graduated my undergrad degree and started my seminary degree here in Columbia, Columbia Biblical Seminary, and uh, really uh, loved how the Lord opened up opportunities uh, to serve as a chaplain. Uh, I know one of the moments that I felt like God had called me to the chaplaincy, um, I was a S1 NCO, um, I was driving a soldier back in a Humvee, driving a soldier back to the barracks. We were out in the field exercise at the time. And I remember counseling with them and talking with them, just kind of having personal conversations, but, but sharing uh, my own hope and my own faith uh, in the Lord. And, and I remember praying with him and connecting with him. And, and, and driving back from that it was late in the evening. It was a long day. I should have been tired, but I felt so full. Um, and I remember driving a Humvee, which any soldier uh, that loves being a soldier loves driving a Humvee. And I just remember being so excited to be a soldier and so excited to serve the Lord. And, and I told the Lord I would do this the rest of my, my life. And, and so that set the seed towards uh, pursuing the chaplaincy uh, and has been a fulfillment of that uh, hope uh, as, as a chaplain. So in 2006, when I started seminary, uh, I switched from the reserves um, to the chaplain candidate program, a direct commissioning, and it was a great opportunity to continue uh, my schooling, uh, but also my ministry. I served here at Fort Jackson uh, while I was in seminary, uh, a part of Cadence uh, International. Uh, they had a, a coffee house, and so I would serve um, providing ministry on Fridays and on weekends, uh, really growing in my ministry as a chaplain. So during the summers, we had a chance to do 30 days worth of a practicum. You were put on orders for 30 days and were sent to different uh, basic uh, training areas or force comm units and learning the ropes, you would shadow another chaplain. So I got to do that at Benning uh, and was able to do airborne school as well while I was there. And then I got to do it um, at Fort Campbell and was able to do air assault school at that time. And then another summer, uh, I was able to do a, a practicum at Fort Gordon. And so each summer I was able to develop and sharpen those tools of ministry 
um, and really shadow amazing chaplains to learn the ropes of how to minister to soldiers and connect with them, as well as getting that military experience um, in the different schools and opportunities uh, that were given. And so in uh, 2010, when I graduated my seminary degree, um, I took a two-year pastorate in a church in Aiken, South Carolina. Uh, it was a youth and families uh, pastorate, and then uh, at the end of that two years, pursued uh, active duty. Um, I felt during that two years, every time I put on the uniform, not only was God's hand of favor upon me and my family, um, but I just, I loved it. Uh, I felt a sense of purpose. Um, I, I looked forward to that every uh, once a month being in the reserves, um, and so I, I felt like God had led us as a family uh, towards active duty, uh, and it has been uh, a true blessing uh, since in 2012, March of 2012, I joined uh, active duty. So as a chaplain, we have three core competencies, uh, nurture the living, uh, care for the wounded, and honor the fallen. Um, and those are uh, core to who we are as chaplains. Um, but the, the greatest way I feel like the Lord has used me is when I'm able to honor um, our fallen. Uh, when I'm able to step into uh, the family's worst day um, and be able to provide that honor to the family, um, be able to provide honor to that soldier. Um, I've always thought that sometimes the worst day of a soldier's life is sometimes the best day of a chaplain's um, because you get to step into darkness with them, um, you get to be there with them, you get to shed hope in, in a time that is very hopeless, um, and you get to provide uh, Christ's love to them uh, through the way you treat them, through the way you care for them, through the way you just sit uh, and be patient with them. Uh, and then especially um, for the, the um, memorial ceremonies, showing uh, the highest honor to that soldier that gave their life um, as a sacrifice for others. And so that to me has been my greatest um, joy, to be able to know that at the moment uh, that the person is in their deepest need, um, I can stand in that gap, not in my own strength, um, but in the Lord's strength. Um, and I feel like when I've been able to do that, uh, and it has been the Lord's strength, and He has shined His hand of favor upon me, um, and I've been able to heal the brokenhearted, uh, which is God's doing, uh, I feel like uh, the Lord has used me in a powerful way. If you're looking to pursue the chaplaincy, I encourage you to do it to look into it, to pray to the Lord, because the harvest is ready and plenty, but the workers are few. Please pursue an opportunity to serve God and country.